provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors. Direct benefit transfer of one month salary in three installments to first time employees as registered in the EPFO will be up to 15,000 rupees. The eligibility limit will be a salary of one lakh per month. The scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh. Priority two, employment and skilling. Employment linked incentive. Our government will implement following three schemes for employment linked incentive as part of the Prime Minister's package. These will be based on enrollment in the EPFO and focus on recognition of first-time employees and support to employees and employers. Scheme A, first-timers. This scheme will provide one month wage to all persons newly entering the workforce in all formal sectors. Direct benefit transfer of one month salary in three installments to first time employees as registered in the EPFO will be up to 15,000 rupees. The eligibility limit will be a salary of 1 lakh per month. The scheme is expected to benefit 210 lakh youths. Scheme B, job creation in manufacturing. This scheme will incentivize additional employment in the manufacturing sector linked to the employment of first-time employees. An incentive will be provided at specified scale directly both to the employee and the employer with respect to the EPFO contribution in the first four years of employment. The scheme is expected to benefit 30 lakh youth entering employment and their employers. Scheme C, support to employers. This employer-focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors. All additional employment within a salary of one lakh rupee per month will be counted. The government will reimburse to employers up to 3,000 rupees per month for two years towards the EPFO contribution for each additional employee. The scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons. Participation of women in the workforce. We will facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and establishing creches. In addition, the partnership will seek to organize women-specific skilling programs and promotion of market access for women SHG enterprises. Skilling program. I'm happy to announce a new centrally sponsored scheme as the fourth scheme under the Prime Minister's package for skilling and collaboration with state governments and industry. 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a five-year period. <laughs> 1,000 industrial training institutes will be upgraded in hub and spoke arrangements with outcome orientation. Course content and design will be aligned to the skill needs of industry, and new courses will be introduced for emerging needs. Skilling loans. The model skill loan scheme will be revised 
to facilitate loans up to 7.5 lakh rupees with a guarantee from a government promoted fund. This measure is expected to help 25,000 students every year. Education loans for helping our youth who have not been eligible for any benefit under government schemes and policies, I am happy to announce a financial support for loans up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic institutions. E-vouchers for this purpose, e-vouchers for this purpose will be given directly to 1 lakh students every year for annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount. Priority 3, inclusive human resource development and social justice, saturation approach. Our government is committed to all-round, all-pervasive and all-inclusive development of people, particularly farmers, youth, women, and the poor. For achieving social justice comprehensively, the saturation approach of covering all eligible people through various programs, including those for education and health, will be adopted to empower them by improving their capability.